pretty hard. Uh, if he wants to attempt to load it up with left, try to stay on that side coming up and down. It just really play makes the makes the uh, shot play a lot harder. But it is the way to get out. And that is what he's doing. He's loading it up with inside. Watch the corner pocket. Watch the corner pocket. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, even if it didn't scratch, it looked like it had enough speed that it was not going to stay down there for the three. It would have come back up, and he probably would have been blocked with those stripes. But Jeff really, really needs to keep his composure here. Under, under any other circumstances, he'd get out, he'd get out here 99 and a half times out of 100. As long as this isn't that half time, he will be hoisting the plaque. So far, so good. He's going to use the 14 as the key ball before the eight. In a way, you kind of hate to see Robbie uh, make a couple of great shots there like he did with banking the four and cutting the two in and suffering a really bad fate when that cue ball went in the drink. Ooh. Wow. He'd like to play the 10, but I don't think he can afford to. Just follow this anywhere up near the middle of the table. And now, as long as he's not going to draw it into the side pocket, and he's got an angle, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. We'll just draw it to the cushion there. And this ball to become the 2012 U.S. Bar Table 8-Ball Champion, Jeff Beckley. And he's done it. Congratulations, Jeff. Congratulations to Robbie Saez. Tremendous performance by both guys. One last time, we want to say thanks to OBQs for being our presenter. Kamui Tips and all of you out there. So this is Ken, I'm gonna sign off, turn you back over to Justin, and uh, we'll see you next year. Thanks everybody, good night.